Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of MZ Sucks. No, but they do, and yeah. So that's what we're gonna talk about today, again. Um, mainly because, like, oh, okay. I found some things out in the last few days, and, um, you know, in the last few weeks as well, uploading and having you guys comment and let me know um, what to expect, what's coming in the future. Um, and I really appreciate that, uh, not only for me, but for my viewers, my other viewers. When you guys leave your comments that explain what's gonna happen, it doesn't just help me, it helps the other viewers that watch my videos and read the comments. So thank you so much. Please continue to do that. You can put that middle finger emoji to MZ all day long on my comments because I'm doing that too. So, if you watched my last video, I'm pretty sure, actually not my last one, but the one before that, maybe, I don't know, maybe I didn't make a video about it yet, but we recently had a realm merger and we had, I think, three other realms come to our realm. So luckily I didn't have to move um, I was a little worried about that just because I'm, I'm home, you know, this is my home. And so with that, we've got, had a lot more um, active players in our realm, which is great. Um, I'm a little annoyed because they took like the whole left side of our hive, like everywhere that I would hunt for monsters and get on resource tiles and stuff like that. Like they took that whole space. So you're annoying and I hate you. Anyways, I logged in today and saw this pack. Get the F out of here. Are you kidding with this? You just had a realm merger and now you're trying to get people to spend $100 to permanently move your empire to a new realm. But let me guess, you don't offer any um, expansion teleports or anything. Hmm? in this pack, so I guarantee you'd port your empire over and then, like, what happens to your expansions? So no, do not purchase that. Do not purchase anything from these twits. We currently have the same BS events that we were having all week long. This um, realm boss, Gilgamesh, which does drop some decent stuff, but I mean, okay, so the people that have purchased packs that give you like full legendary gear, like um, recently there was a pack that offered every single gear set legendary style, you know, so all gold, all level six pieces. And I didn't buy that. I was very tempted to, you know, I'm going to be honest, but I didn't buy it. Let me show you my gear. These top four were not able to craft yet, so ignore those. Our Arcane gear is um, currently the best for attack or um, defense along with our lucky and unlucky gems. We have gotten some Paragon gems, but it's mainly been the un unlucky, lucky gems that I'm pretty sure they released only for the smaller players to be able to keep up and defend themselves against, you know, a sit 60, 70, whatever. Um, but as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 legendary gear sets. I'm only missing one, two, three. And the Lightforge gear, again, if you didn't watch my video talking about that, it is just for the Guild Adventures Hall. That's the only thing it helps with. It does not help with anything else. And there are no gems that you can put in it to boost your um, dungeon attack, health, stamina, AKA Guildhall, stamina, health, whatever. Um, so 
you know, buying the pack for full legendary gear would have been totally pointless for me because guess what? A few weeks later, I was able to get all of this stuff on my own. Like, yeah, I had to spend quite a bit of loyalty for the Proving Ground events. Um, Aether is very hard to come by. And um, this Realm boss helped a lot. I'll show you some of the items here. This was a max hit. So, oh wow, 16 million hero experience. Holy crap. That's what I need to be doing with my Ignis. Great, and he has like no freaking MP. Anyway, um, yeah, so the people that bought that legendary gear set could have earned it on their own. Like, you could have got that stuff for free, you know? Like, you don't need to buy that. You don't need to... Unlimited speed-ups for life. <laughs> no. No, it's not worth it. Do not buy it. Do not buy this pack to permanently move your empire to a, to a new realm. There is no sense in that whatsoever. If you don't if you don't like the realm you're in, I mean, it's not going to be any different if you move to a different realm. Like the people are still going to suck. There's still going to be alliances that you're not a part of. They're not going to trust you. That's the biggest thing. They're not going to know why you want to come join them and why you moved and all, and all this stuff. Um, I did see some posts on the internet, um, on Reddit and things like that, where um, they were asking about moving realms permanently um, without a realm merger. Like, are you able to switch realms? And until now, there hasn't been a way. Like... This is the first pack that came out that has something like that in it. But it's not worth it. Do not spend your money on it. Just don't do it. So, what else? What else did I want to talk about? Oh, right. So, as you can see, we are capped at 70. And if you watch my other videos um, pertaining to... Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire, you will know that we are capped at 70. We've been capped at 70. It recently went from 60 to 70, I think, in the last uh, four weeks or so. Uh, maybe the last two months range. That's just an estimate. I can't remember exactly when. But I do know that we have not been able to upgrade past 70 and matter of fact it tells you that it is maxed out um, I had one of my viewers thank you so much by the way comment to let me know that level 70 was the end of construction however on the Final Fantasy XV hub it states that there are sit 90 after 70 sit 70 sit 90 so I don't know um, how that's going to work. I don't know how we're... So if that's the end of construction, like, how are people, you know, sit 100, sit 160? I, you know what I'm saying? Like, how is that going to be possible if you cannot upgrade your Citadel? You see what I'm saying? So um, if you could answer that question for me, I would really appreciate it. I think I do these videos just as much for me to give bits of information that I have as well as getting your guys' really great advice and experiences and information from you. So even though I may not be teaching you much because you're in a you know further progressed server realm than I am, um, I appreciate your views and please keep coming back to watch them because I guarantee you, you will be able to answer questions for me as well as other viewers and steer them in the right direction as far as how to be prepared and what to expect with MZ. And basically, what I've come to find is that if you're starting out, if you're, you know, in a smaller empire than mine, a lower level than me, if you're starting out in a newer realm, 
um, where you're, you're still getting like monster events, rebel events, and guild kill events, you know, things like that without, you know, and, and being at level like 28, whatever. Skate by as cheaply as you possibly can because after a certain point, and I have not reached there yet, we have not reached this point yet, but thanks to all my awesome, awesome viewers and their comments, the game resets completely. Um, nothing will be useful. Okay, so everything that you spent money on, you basically won't be able to use it after a certain point, and that point is... Oh, excuse me. Oh. That point is the dark world. Okay, so I'm going to link. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description box um, so you can go over and read that. It was from the Final Fantasy Hub, and I think the article writer's name was Kat, K A T, and thank you so much, Kat. Um, I hope you don't mind me sharing your article with others. It was really, really helpful for me. Um, it covered all the things I wanted to know, like what heroes are gonna be used at that point? Should I worry about unlocking the other four heroes I don't have? Um, you know, think just small things like that. Like, should I just stay where I'm at and wait for that to come and then try to progress? Or is there anything I can do now that will make me be more prepared for that in the future? Um, one thing I will say, uh, I don't think, um, <clears throat> okay, so that's our realm. I'm just pushing this up so you can see our realm name here, Garova's Rift 1073, and our realm number is 2921. I don't think many people in my realm are aware of the dark world, and I haven't, like, mentioned it to them. Um, last night, one of my guild members mentioned something like, oh, we've had this realm boss, you know, multiple times in a row, so I wonder if MZ has something up their sleeve. Um, and I just kind of gave her the side look emoji and was tempted to bring it up, but I didn't want to bring it up because I'm not as knowledgeable as I could be on it, and I want to have more information and more details before I try to explain it to anyone here in my realm. So, yeah, if you're watching this, just remember, I, um, hold on. I'm trying to scroll up to last night. And I lost my train of thought. Okay, yeah, there's the thing. So, yeah, if you're watching this, just skate by as cheaply as you possibly can. Um, don't blow money on all these packs prior to Dark World. Because what I'm figuring out is that Dark World is a reset that they had to do to basically lower all of our, all the higher level players' abilities so that the lower level players can compete with us again. So it's basically like a reset. But it's not, okay? Your realm is not reset to where you have nothing and you start back at zero. It is just a complete change in everything like dark troops, dark march speed ups that your regular speed ups and regular troop attack and troop HP will not um, boost uh, unless it specifically states dark blank. Uh, it will not boost your dark troops attack health, health um, anything like that. So as much as people say it's a complete reset, it's more so just an update to the game and how it's played and everything. So that means you will have to 
acquire those items after the reset. So spending money after that point would be better. If you're going to spend money on this game at all, I mean, is more beneficial after your Dark World reset. When will that come? I have no idea. I've been playing on this realm at least since last um, July, last June, July. And so about a year, 12 months, and we haven't had the Dark World update yet. I know, um, I'm pretty sure it just started recently, like April, like March, April, or May of 2019. Um, that was when I saw the first posts about it. Um, if you guys haven't watched any of Pistol Pete, shout out to Pistol Pete because he has some really, really, really good content. And I highly recommend you go over to his channel and check that out um, because he covers a lot more stuff than I do and also in a different way than I do. So the things that he might not bring up, I will probably bring up along with other people that have these videos. So I do recommend, you know, bouncing around from channel to channel to see who's got what information and support each other, you know? that That's what I wanna do. I wanna help support them and I hope they would help support me you know, I, I really enjoy networking about this game, and I cannot tell you how much I have learned. Well, I'm trying to tell you how much I've learned since I started uploading videos on YouTube and having people come and comment on them and, you know, just socializing with other players more um, than just inside my guild. So thank you guys again. Thank you so much. Shout out to all them. YouTubers out there making Final Fantasy XV a new Empire videos. Keep it up. So, when somebody said, just tell people to stop purchasing, okay, we've done that. We've already tried this, okay, um, a while back, actually. I think it was right around the time that they took away our Rebel multiplier, which I don't know if you guys ever had the ability to get them royal chests and you know with that multiplier hitting rallies you know um, if so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and you will understand exactly why that was so so tragic for all of us um, to not be able to get anymore and around that time is when they started making the big changes they messed with our hero energy, our hero MP. They messed with our stats on our gear. They messed with um, the stats inside the guild adventures hall, which may, may or may not have been, you know, messed with due to gear, um, which finally did get fixed. But that's when all the big, big changes started coming, um, was right after we stopped being able to get the Rebel um, prize multiplier. And that's when um, Sethra, who is one of our leaders, probably the leader at this point, um, she's online all the time, her, Charlie, and Fairy, Immortal, Mitch, Gup, they all tried they sent messages out to every player. They posted on the Realm Chat. They did everything they possibly could to tell people to stop buying packs, and it didn't work then. Okay, so even our our fours telling people not to do something did not help at all. And then, okay, so this is how it goes. Some ridiculous building is released and then they give you an event to unlock the building for some crap prize that... No. I mean, yes, did I need the hero experience points for the tier 3 prize? Yes, I did. Honestly, I could really, really use it. But, did I spend $20 to buy that building? No. Because I know what's, you know, I know what to expect now. I know I shouldn't be spending money right now until after the Dark World, and if it seems like it's a vital piece of my empire that I need to have, I will unlock it at that point. But 
that is only if I keep playing and if I continue to play. So that's another thing you're going to want to consider before you just go out and blow money on this game is how dedicated are you to playing it and how long are you going to want to play. Do not try to sell your account. Your account is not valuable and it's actually against the terms of use. So just don't do it. You're going to be highly disappointed and don't sucker some poor bastard into buying it, okay? That's wrong, and it's basically a scam, okay? If they are not aware of what is to come, do not try to push your account off on them and make your money back. That's not, mm -mm, that's not being a good human, and that's what we should all strive to be. So, just right here, you know, this new building comes out, and one of our strong guys says, oh, well, I guess I'm just going to have to buy it then. And lo and behold, when I logged in this morning, we had another um, platinum guild gift where someone had, you know, spent money and bought a pack overnight. So, yeah, that's about how it goes when we try to tell people not to spend money, teach them, you know, teach MZ a lesson. We don't want to keep giving them our money when they won't ever listen to us or answer our emails or fix the problems that they acknowledge that are there. Okay, so... I try, I really do, and I wish I wish I could just block all the in-app purchases at all on our realm and in our guild, but you can't. You can't do it, and people don't listen. They do not listen. I wish they did, um, but that's just, you know, part of playing on a multi player game, you know, you're dealing with other humans who may or may not be smart. I'm not the smartest crayon in the box. I'll tell you that right now. And what can you do? You know, I mean, what can you do? So I, I hope we, I hope we get better support. I hope that they'll get their act together, but if they haven't for previous realms and servers, I highly doubt it's going to happen for us, but most importantly, prepare for that dark world reset. Do not spend any money. I mean, unless you are just like a millionaire and can blow money left and right, you do what you want to do. It's your money. As long as your bills are paid and your kids are fed and, and whatever else, like, that's your money. You do what you want with it. Um... But also, don't get mad at somebody else after you do it, okay? I am taking my time out of my day, as well as many other YouTubers, to explain this to you. So, you know, you have to decide what you're okay with and what you're not okay with. Regardless, I hope you continue to come back to my channel and watch my videos, whether I'm ranting or whether... I'm giving information or whether I'm just showing an event that we have or whatever the case, like the pack. I hope you keep coming back. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell and you won't miss any of my uploads. Um, I know my content is, you know, a little all over the place, but I didn't want to... Oh, that's my son. I didn't want to limit myself and have to make multiple channels when, you know, I wasn't sure if my stuff was even going to be popular. I wasn't sure if I would even get viewers or subscribers or anything. So thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate your support. It's been really, really awesome seeing all your comments. And I just hit 50 subscribers. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you guys so much for that. I hope um, I can continue to give enjoyable content, and if there's anything specific you would like me to cover, please leave it in the comments below. I'm going to put that link in the description box, so be sure to click that and go read the article. Um, it just talks about the dark world, so obviously this will be stuff for people at a lower level than me. People already in the dark world won't need to know this. They'll already be aware. Um, but any information and tips and advice you can give us for the dark world change, if we should be preparing in a certain way, doing something specific, or just basically waiting for it. So leave them comments down below. Click that thumbs up button. 
click that subscribe button, click that bell, and I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.